Welcome to the engine room. I'm Fraser Hannam. I'm the head of the middle school here at Charlton. And the middle school runs from years five through to eight. And they're pretty important years. By the end of year eight, you can pretty well start to see the adult take place. You can see all those good behaviours in, in place. They've started to become habits for the future. So really important to get those years right at the right place which is here. And there's a wonderful quote by a woman by the name of Rita Dunn and she says that if a student isn't learning the way you teach, you need to teach the way the student learns. And for me, that's really what middle school is all about. It's about realising that kids have different gifts, different talents, different ways of doing things, but more importantly, they learn in different ways. And we need to to recognize those ways. We need to be able to take the school and rather than have the student conform to the school, we change the school, we tweak it here and there so it better suits the student. And this is um, part of Howard Gardner's idea of multiple intelligences. That students learn, they learn differently. Traditional schooling would say you've got numeracy, you've got literacy, and if you're not good at either of those, then you're not intelligent, you're not smart. But Howard Gardner has identified these in different intelligences, and we've structured middle school so that our classes reflect them as well. And so the question now becomes not, is my child smart, but how are they smart? So for instance, one of our classes is a think track class, and in that class we put all those people who are a little bit mathematical, like the logic puzzles, they like to pull things apart, build rockets. Most of the time they like to work individually and they're really good at it. We put them together. We've got a sport track class and in that class is all the students who are tactile, they like to move around, they like to, to feel things, to, to do things and they're, they're also super intelligent but movement brings out that intelligence for them. So they might be sitting in the classroom on exercise balls or they might even be doing their work at a high bench where they don't have to, to sit down and the teacher might ask questions by throwing balls around the room which gets them moving and gets them thinking so well. Then we have a Kappa class. Kappa is where we put all our musical kids, our kids that like drama, kids that like like art. So for instance that Kappa theme might flavour all the other subjects that they do in that particular class. So instead of writing a, an essay on the life of somebody, they might write a timeline and they might include little pictures along the way. And they might rotate their maths groups at the sound of, of music, for instance. Finally, we have EcoTrack. And those kids just love being outside, as we're outside now and they love gardening, they like animals, very concerned about conservation and sustainability. And so we put those like-minded kids in the one class and then we team them up with a teacher who is wired the same, exactly the same. So the sport track kids get a sport track teacher and the sport track teacher knows exactly how they're wired and what will motivate them. And the result is you end up with this, this wonderful school where students are engaged, interested, and learning is meaningful for them in a way that it hasn't been before. So, where does the, the best of junior school and senior school meet? Meets in the middle. So I'll see you in the middle school next year.